Good afternoon. Thank you for joining today's CEE Cafe. My name is Peter Kunz and I will be your guide this afternoon. The topic for today's session is what is new, what is planned for Domino and Nodes version 14. This is a version, new version that should be released this quarter, next month. And in today's half, uh, one hour or one hour and a half, I will share with you some new features and enhancements that we plan to release in this new version. Uh, more than on any other session, this disclaimer is important because everything what you will see is planned. It is not released yet and all the features that I will describe and, and show live could change until the version 14 is finally released. This session, this, this uh, November Cafe, X is number seven, if I count it correctly, uh, this year. Uh, CE Cafe series is a, uh, is a series of webinars that we organized every month, uh, usually Thursday afternoon, 13, uh, 13 hours. On the screen, you can see the list of sessions that already happened this, this year. And if you click on the links, you can download the slides or watch the recording videos. It means uh, also what you hear and see today, you can download later once, once this session finished. All registered people will receive links in the email after, after this session. <clears throat> Everything that I show and describe is based on, is based on the latest early access release. We name it early access release drop one, drop two, and the latest one is drop three. Everybody who has access to download servers, it means anybody who has active active support, active maintenance, can download nodes and domino and related products in this early access version right now, since since summer, and, and test it. For those who are uh, not yet uh, do it. You can you can use the the new updated download server. The link is on the slide my.hcltechsoftware.com, and there is uh, this is the place where you can download servers, clients, language packs, uh, developer tools, and so on. Uh, in uh, the latest early access version we did not received only we, we did not uh, published only uh, the basic images like you know uh, client servers everything in english only and so on we also published uh, language packs so if you want to check if something is translated correctly uh, if you are partners helping customers with this uh, localization you can now download the language packs and, and test it in your environment. We also uh, released clients in in this uh, with this uh, in these languages. So on the screen you can see some of them, uh, and you can see there are there are many languages supported. Uh, again, a disclaimer because now we are starting discussing new features. Everything that I present now can be different in the final version that is planned for, for next month. Uh, as you know from my other presentations, I try to split the, the content into several chapters or categories for users, for admins, and for developers. So let's start with the admins, then we will move to, to news for, admin, uh, sorry, let's start with users, then we will move to admins, and then to, to developers. For, uh, for users, we've got some improvements and since it is for users, I can, I, I can show you screens and, and, and live. Uh, something new or enhanced in email. Uh, 
Uh, you probably know that since since version I don't think to be 11, maybe 10, if you create a new email, there is a option do not send it right now, send it later, like delayed delivery. It has to be enabled on the server uh, and uh, on the policy, and then every user can can delay sending the email to some to some later uh, time. Uh, this is somehow it, it, it is present, but it is not so visible as some customers would expect or some users. So we moved or we add this feature next to the send button. So now there is send and send later, and in send later you can easily schedule future submit date. Uh, if you do it right now, like send, it resides on server mailbox. So you can shut down your notes client and it resides on server mailbox and waits until this time has come and, and then the message is sent and, and delivered to the recipients. Mm. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that's still a delivery. Wait, let me let me start the screen on this separate window. Well, yeah, mail merge. Uh, a features for a feature for which I use previously uh, some free third-party tool that 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 I. Uh, implemented into a notes client, but it works only on, on Windows client, not on Mac. This one works also on Mac and is native and it's native. It's now included in notes client. Mail merge means you have a list of recipients in, in Excel usually, maybe some optional words or or types of information that you want to use in personalized content and one template and into this template you want to use this personalized content as and send to for example 50 recipients something like i send if if i invite you uh, to the events like like this one so how we can do this uh, let me close close this one discard uh, this is template version 14 and there is a new option new button new mail merge if i click mail merge first i need to show um, to point it to excel file like this one list of list of the recipients so i use this xls just for those who want to know what's inside let me show this is simple simple excel two email addresses that's that's it nothing complex for this demo so I select Zoom invitations, done. And here is the list of, let's say, mandatory fields like header, like header for, for your emails. To copy, blind copy, subject, if I was attachment. Subject is taken and is recognized from the Excel column. And now I have email and name. So for two, I will select email, OK. And now I am in, in classic mail form and let me open text so we do not type blah 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 text this is some real content that i can send hello thank you for registration ta -da -da. and i can also personalize hello and put some some uh personalized content from from the excel file and this is the list of recognized field and name. Hello, name. Put it in there. Thank you for registration and so on. And now I can click preview and send. And this is the content. This is information taken for this specific email from, from first line in the Excel. And I can browse and click show me first one show me second one now it is felix adams and if i do okay this one is okay send and now it is sent and if i would check my my private email on gmail i will see email uh, with personalized content sent from from domino it is all stored in drafts so if you want later if you want later to to modify 
or change some field or, or reuse for some future event, something like this one, you can you can do it do it. It is stored in, in drafts. So this is mail merge. Mm, screens from the demonstration for your offline usage. Uh, uh, preferences. If you know, and probably many of you, many of you use Notes for a long time, uh, the Basic Notes client configuration. This this session, uh, you there there used to be many options, many many options with maybe some historical names. Uh, some of them are often turned off usually some of them usually turn on we decided to consolidate maybe do some renaming and add uh, add a category so if something is related with with mail we name the the options mail one mail two mail, mail three so you can easily check check and set if necessary according to instructions from your colleagues from help de from 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 help documents from support like please check if you have notes 19 set yes so so this is the way how you can easily navigate into these dozens of notes client preferences and let me let me mention two that i already enabled notes 19 and notes 20 those are new ones that's why they are at the end of the list in my installation in my default installation it was turned off when i turn it on on a 19 on 20 then i saw uh, um, icons on workspace in a more convenient way for me i have a big screen i do not need to save real estate so yes please if there is a long name for a database do not do not truncate it show it show it in full name even if it is show it in full length even if it is you see the the fonts the the font style is is a little bit smaller to fit it everything in this position but it's it's okay I can see it. And please also remove the borders and uh, some semi-transparent uh, background for icons to make it more, uh, let's see, to, uh, to look it more pleasant for, for, uh, for me. So those are new, new improvements. And what I skip is something that you ask for a long time. And now it is part of Notes 14 client. You can use drag and drop to rearrange uh, workspaces, tabs, tabs in in your workspaces. So you can you can just go to the workspace and showcase blue and move it to the more upper position or move it back. So so this feature. Uh, is added also in this latest notes client. Mm, yeah, and one, I choose one calendar improvement or one one uh, screenshot and one mention. <clears throat> if you create a new calendar invitation, mm, like this one, create new meeting, and you select uh online meeting in some way it could be you choose it from your um, from your list of meetings of passive meetings like this one like same time meeting will be added or you can use uh, dynamic meetings uh, when you can connect to zoom teams webex go to meeting same time of course and so on and it will create online meeting on demand for you uh, right from this invitation. So if, if you use any of these options and there is a URL uh, for the online meeting, then when you then when you set the alarm like 10 minutes 10 minutes before the the meeting, uh, there is a new button join and if you click on it, it opens a URL in your default web browser and you can connect 
connect uh, to the meeting immediately. So no, no need to, to open the details, click, uh, move to browser and, and connect. And one note, uh, we improved to one note to this calendar, we improved these dynamic meeting services uh, that if you, if you need to set up if, uh, integration between notes client and the external online meeting provider is secured it is not anonymous so it means you need to somehow prove to the external service that it is you that you have account usually paid account so it means you have to log into the service you will receive a token token is stored securely on notes client and is valid usually for three or six months depending on the service and the way how you obtain the token right now is if you click uh, you click on get token there is a zoom zoom or teams or something web page you log in you copy the token paste it into this dialogue and save and since then you can use these these dummy meetings uh, in version 14 we we made it uh, simpler or easier uh, you do not need to copy paste the token between these two systems between Zoom, for example, and Notes client. The token is copied automatically using some operating system features, which means it is uh, valid or it is available right now. This simple token savings on Windows clients only, not on Mac. I'm, I'm on Mac, so I cannot 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 show it to you. Uh, but on Windows, uh, the easy token transition from external meeting service to notes client should work. Uh, so that's for calendars and let me check the time, 20 minutes. Okay, let's move to admins. We did a lot of improvements on the you know, infrastructure backends and new features, new enhancements on, on, on the server side. This is all included in this chapter, news for admins. That's why I split it into sub-chapters, sub-categories. And first one is installation. Of course, if you if you want to test it and deploy it, installing and optionally setup is the first task that, that you will do. So uh, what is new? First, you have to check if the hardware and, and operating system is supported. Hardware probably yes, because Domino does not increase hardware requirements. Like, uh, like four, four times more requirements for RAM or number of processor cores. It's, it's more or less the same. Where our changes are in operating system support. Uh, so for example, in Windows, we, do, we support only to 2019 and 2022 server editions and there are also some requirements for uh, linux linux like operating systems or linux based and they they need to fulfill these criteria <coughs> for for libraries otherwise domino will not run properly or uh, will not be installed at all so please if you if you run if you run old windows or old linux distributions please check the table check the the system requirements and deploy domino 14 on the appropriate operating system version this is from this table is from the official documentation for the latest early access program 3 uh, it could change but I, I have no info that, that some changes are, are planned for, for next month. <clears throat> we updated installation and for admins, there, there will be two main changes, one for everyone and one for those who deploy on Windows. Let's start with the change for everyone and it is the change that that is displayed right right now if you we we simplified we simplified um, the installation so so we 
uh, enabled by default changes that you that you install that you install on all servers. And instead of this, we added extensions or add-ons that you usually or uh, until now you had to deploy it manually. They are on the screen: Nomad, Verse, and on time a group calendar they are all separate products you can download them uh, separately uh, put the install file on the domino server shut down domino server deploy for example nomad or verse start domino and do some configuration uh, usa admin had to check the version the supported version if this version of verse is supported on my version of of domino and uh, it could be for for some admins it could be it could be uh, some additional work so they postpone these uh, these deployments and it is it is pity because these add-ons could bring uh, a lot of new features and enhancements and, and benefits for the company so that's why now you can install nomad verse or on time by just clicking or checking this checkbox it will install binaries, not the configuration, and I will mention it later. So this is first update. And the second one is for, and the second one is for Windows deployments. If you are a Domino admin and you will install Domino, and you will install Domino on Windows, Domino 14, at the end of the uh, install dialog you will see these windows this this window in in the wizard this one asking please enter windows username and there is some name pre-select it will be name of the user who is who is actually logged in uh, to the windows session and what does it mean this is a identity under which domino service will run on this windows server on this windows machine until now it was a, a system account a, a, a system service uh, which which was common on windows on linux and, and unix systems uh, admins know that they have to run domino on non-root non-admin account that's why they create the the default notes notes account with the name notes and under this non-root user account the whole domino is is running it it is because of security uh, so it means this user will if you if you select a user in this dialog this user will be stored in the uh as a owner for data for data folder for domino data di directory you can see it is it has full control it is the owner of this of this directory and it is stored as a user uh, as a user account under which the domino server service is running so you can you can set it you can change you can you can create some some generic account like in this case it's it's domino uh, which is non root non non administrative account and in the server service definition you just click on it and type the password because password is not known uh, password are not windows password are not stored in in open format so for the first time you have to type the password save and then then the server runs on on this account uh, there is a big discussion in in a discussion forum for version 14 uh, there are some some tips and suggestions and experiences from the companies that already deployed this beta version and some admins re recommends to use uh, if, if it is not possible to use a dedicated to use a dedicated user accounts like this one domino to use a uh, one of the four standards local microsoft accounts which is which is backslash local service 
backslash local service you do not create you do not need to create it it has limited accounts it has not non full access accounts on the server and domino domino should should run on this as well but we are still in beta version and and do the test so this is a uh, information for those who are uh, deploying domino on windows if you will see these dialogues now you know what what it is about mm. Okay. Uh, also, what is new in in this release, uh, which is pretty common in in Linux and and Unix environments, but not on Windows, we put we are moving nodes in it from program directory to data directory because uh, it it makes more sense on on Linux. We have we have it in in a data di directory for a long time, and now if you are on Windows notes in it will be moved from the current location into data directory so please do not be confused if you do not see server notes in it where it used to be now it is in one directory lower uh, i mentioned that uh, server 14 installation domino 14 installation can install three extensions out of the box nomad verse and on time and i also said you have to do some post install configuration because uh, this installation wizard does does not know how you want to how you specifically want to configure it so i prepared three of three simple slides mentioning just basic steps how you can continue after the default deployment out of the box deployment if you want to continue and using verse it is easy you have to somehow enable tls https on the server since version 12 you can use cert, uh, cert manager uh, as a application running in in domino that can create and maintain domino tls certificates for you uh, there is even integration with public certificate authorities or private integration with let's encrypt out of the box and so on and then you just need to start http task and connect to verse with this url so it is it is very easy to set up if you want to use nomad after the initial installation you have to add um, this parameter into server nodes in it uh, it specifies usually host name where nomad uh, is listening and uh, according to this host name nomad binaries contacts uh, certificate manager and ask for tls certificate so they can use tls certificate in this separate http stack and provide it provide user interface for nomad users which means i i said separate http stack it does not nomad domino does not run on classic domino http task there is a separate one which means they cannot share the same port and that's why by default nomad listens on port 9443 so if you want to change it you can you can add some uh some proxy or or load balancer in in front of nomad uh, let load balancer listen on port 443 and forward the workload to the internal 9443 and uh, setting one time calendar is uh let's say the the more complicated than the previous two because there are more settings it is all described on the link if you click on it there is official link to the uh, to the company that created this extension and you will specify the uh, the names of people who are allowed to to use this new functionality you specify some some global settings it will guide you how to create new new data new nsf databases from ntf uh, ntf templates on one click and so on and so on it is not complicated you just need to do a few steps that the installer cannot 
do it instead of you. We are still in we are still in in setup section and for admins we've got a few enhancements for one touch setup. One touch setup was introduced in last version in version 14 and it is a possibility for admins to do not only unattended automated install of binaries but as well as following setup so you do not need to click 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 information in some graphical wizards instead of this you put this information into text file and uh, setup Dom domino setup takes this information from the text file and use it for configuring the server and we added this interesting interesting new fields uh, yes sometimes if you do the first one uh, some admins could face it i i see it in when i use one touch setup in my in my docker and, and kubernetes containers uh, sometimes a new a new restart is is not required but let's say is is uh, good to to perform so you can specify that uh, additional extra restart will be performed uh, after the first setup so you can finish DAOs and translog settings and so on you can also create certificate authority uh, using these uh, these comma these uh, preferences domino sort of authority create until now in current versions you could create primary server and a few secondary servers for example if you do some some testing or or education if you want a group of 10 people that you want to educate how to how to manage domino servers and so you want to create uh, test servers for students and now they could be created with some pattern like student one student two student three student five ta -da -da. now in this version you can in, instead of using pattern and some numbering you can provide a list of names that you want to use so it does not need to be server one server two server three it could be alpha beta gamma delta or orion sirius lira things that 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 i use so this this could be uh, some improvement for those that use this unattended automated installation for not deploying just one server but multiple servers either for testing education or development uh, the last one on this page is is interesting uh, you can if you install second server like ad additional server in the domain you need connectivity to the existing server in domain so the new one can download names nsf admin for catalog and so on and so on if there are problems with either connectivity or or server one is down and yet you want to start and deploy server two you can provide all necessary databases and they are specified in the documentation like names admin catalog and so on you can store them on on this seed directory and you can point uh, installation installation config file hey if server one is down do not wait wait for it do not cancel the configuration but instead of downloading names nsf from server alpha take it from this directory so this could be very useful in in some specific use cases in deploying maybe in deploying containers where there is no no mother server running and, and so on <clears throat> you can also create a uh, list of databases that you want to replicate from first server from alpha to the secondary server beta besides system databases so this is also good if you want to if you want to uh, prepare some uh, some always on all always running databases that that you have running on on all your corporate servers so 
uh, all these parameters are for this and yes and so so this is for enhancement in in one touch setup speaking about uh, benefits for admins who want to deploy servers install and update we created a big enhancement a new feature this is like first iteration the feature is called auto update auto update it is server to update not not the out feature that that is here since i think version 10 and this new feature checks regularly our hcl download servers check if there is a new version released so whenever a new fix pack or a version like 1201 1202 or major release like version 14 is released this server your server is notified downloads the basic information like catalog of software that is available on our servers and you can specify okay there is a new fix pack or or language pack or major release please domain please my domino download the installation from from hcl download servers and distribute it to my test servers so i can easy so i can came in so i can come in and just click on setup and, and and download so i do not need to download it manually check what is latest check it if it fits my my operating system download to my uh, admin workstation then share it with uh, the linux work uh, linux server that runs my server and so on and so on so this could be much much easier let me show you how it works uh, first you specify uh, this feature you enable this feature in directory profile in domino directory profile no uh, probably directory profile actions directory profile product updates here it is this is the same this is link this is shared link global link for all distributions you you do not change this url change the download server and specify if you if the feature is disabled by default or you want to notification that there is that there is new uh, new release download the installation package and download and distribute i selected download and distribute the second step is if you do not want to wait you can you can enable this and restore task auto update auto update is name of the task it for the first time it creates a new application auto update auto update nsf and <clears throat> then you need to configure this application to access servers because we do not publish install in install files on flexnet or this new my hcl text download server we do not publish it anonymously so you somehow need to put credentials and in this modern internet world we do not store username and password instead of this we use one uh, time limited tokens and it means in this auto update database you go to configuration and there is a button set download token and if you click on it you can paste the token and in my slides i showed you how you can obtain the token you log into the download server not flexnet the the new one you log in into server you click click in the right uh, top right corner show me api keys create a new api key and once it is created you copy it to clipboard but because this is the last time you will see it so copy to clipboard and then paste it paste it here save and since now you are authenticated you authenticated this uh, configuration with your 
company account on our download server and once it is done once it is done yeah. set store download token and once it is done you will see in domino directory you will see a, a list of a list of our software releases if you go to directory there is a new view product info if you click if if you if you already tested version 14 you saw this new new view product info and this one was empty so maybe you was curious hey but why why this view is what 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 it is about so now now you know this is for automatic update each document has a some information some links what is new fixed list for this specific release and some information this is also used later for software catalog where you have access to uh, client servers add-ons uh, based on operating system based on language pack for example so if i server latest version version window this and this uh, show me notes client and i want some fix packs give me some fix packs english or check this one check russian polish uh, so this is the list in this database uh, so so this is about uh information hey there is a new version version 14 we are running on version 12 so we can update to version 14 if you want to go to the second stage you mark you mark a document for download you say okay let's do this and this and this and mark for download i already did it let me just select one this one mark for download now it is waiting and after a few minutes it is triggered by the service by the running service on domino and it it tries to use my token that i stored to connect the download server and obtain the this very specific this very specific uh, install file once it is downloaded correctly like this one i i did it before so we can see the result now it is downloaded and attached to this database so it is good to enable daos on this database to 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 offload the the size from nsf to operating system so one, once it is downloaded uh, it is stored in this database locally and step number three is deployment or maybe later in automatic installation but now it is just deployment and you can create deployment groups create a deployment groups showcase productions servers uh, name and servers i can add i can add lira save and close so we've got this one and now i can schedule distribute software submit and what it will do now it says okay i want to distribute this specific version to these servers that is to these servers to lira uh, it knows okay it is windows so i will select install file dedicated for this platform this running and it it saves the install file into the data directory of the selected server under the subdirectory i think deploy so it is like domino date domino slash data slash deploy and there is exe file or tar file in linux then and then you can log into the server and, and deploy it manually if you want so this is big big enhancement in in first notifying second downloading and third distributing install files for nodes uh, for domino and nodes clients and add-ons like traveler nomad and so on it is called domino auto update some screens so you can for later usage deployment 
and the distribution. The last slide in this install, in this install section, is uh, about upgrading clients. Uh, now, since version 14, important, very important info, there are no, no more 32-bit nodes clients, only 64-bit. In version 12, we released some first uh, first version, I think 12.01 and 12.02, optionally were in 64-bit. Now it is 64-bit only in version 14. And auto-update, the default, the, the out-task knows how to do update from previous 32-bit nodes client to new 64-bit. And you can, you can download uh, the uh, auto-update uh, manifests from, from our server as well. So if you want to experiment with updating old uh, version 12 clients to the new version 14, you can, you can try it now. Uh, second chapter is, is about security. What is new in security in Domino version, Domino nodes version 14? Some nodes that I that I selected. It is not it is not all that that are just important or or useful to the majority of customers. Uh, we are continuously increasing uh, the security of our products, uh, adding new, modern, more strength. Uh, algorithm ciphers using longer keys than in previous older versions and so on. So now we use uh, stronger encryption. We use better naming. So it is it is uh, aligned with naming of other products. And if someone is looking for AAS encrypting, uh, this is this is what we provide to these uh, to these users. We we increase the the document encryption. It is now. 256 and you do not need to explicitly set it so so we we use the the stronger stronger ciphers now by by default uh, what we use we also use the stronger uh, hashes in internet password if you store it in in your person documents yet reminder please enable it in directory profile to use it, it is since version eight, which is pretty old. Yet I still, from time to time, several times a year, I still discuss with some admins who do not have this enabled and are concerned that, hey, hash is stored in person document and anybody, and, and it is not salted and anybody can download and use uh, some some uh, brute force attack to, to guess password of my users and so on. And, and the answer is, hey, did you enable, did you enable this, this feature? It is for years in Domino. Ah, oh, I was not aware. So, so please check if you, if you did not enable it. Yes, please, please do. On the server side, we continuously uh, mark some old uh, ciphers and old key length in TLS encryption as the older one as deprecated and the, the rest as support as, as suggested. If you open the dialog, which ciphers should be enabled on version four, you will see these four that should be enabled and then you can uh, move on and continue. In my session, I think it was it was last month. I've got session for admins, and I describe what you should set to get A plus in in SSL in in TLS settings on on SSL labs to to check how your web server is is secured. <clears throat> we added in version fourteen. Uh, uh, session cookie that is sprayable, so it means it could be shared across uh, multiple domain uh, across multiple domino servers. Uh, if you use some load balancer, so if you if you have some balancing uh, balancing service in front of your domino web servers. And you want to use session cookies that are accepted by by all nodes in uh, in this nodes group. Uh, 
uh, check and set these nodes in a parameter, it will it will name it, it it will use DOM auth session ID and add some some uh, letters and numbers at the end of this. Uh, say, uh, name and uh, cookie name instead of just domain or session ID, so so it could be shared across across servers. Uh, no, no, no. It should be uh, yes. It it you can use same internet site to spread and uh, each server you 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 can you can uh, bind the cookie. To the server that uh, where it was released, and you can have one internet, one internet site uh, across multiple servers. This is a new enhancement: passkeys. Passkeys are now a pretty big topic uh, because it is now propagated by Google. Like password is a old way of authentication. Let's use more secure pass keys. Uh, for end users, it means that they do not log into web services, uh, into web services on the internet with username and password, and optionally uh, uh, some other uh, authentication mechanism like uh, TOTP. Or or SMS or some or some YubiKey tokens and so on, and uh, it replaces necessary to enter the password that could be uh, listened to and reuse that could be spoofed that could be uh, taken by phishing you know by by fake sites and so on. Instead of this, these servers these Web servers offers using pass keys, and these pass keys are replacement for passwords. They basically consist of private and public key that is stored on your device. It could be your PC, it could be your mobile, it could be your external uh, security device like some some USB based token YubiKey is is great in this area. And if you let's say want to authenticate with this service, for example, you go to Twitter and you want to authenticate with with Twitter, you do not use username and password. Instead of this, you say, "Okay, Twitter.com, please use my." Uh, I want to authenticate using passkey. So Twitter creates a challenge, like a string, and sends uh, encrypted with uh, your public key, sends it to you. You have to, you have to, let's say, re-encrypt -en again with your private key. So the challenge is, is uh, <clears throat> so, so you uh, can provide the same challenge that the server can uh, compare. And it knows, yes, John Smith is logging to me. We know this private public key cryptography from our nodes domino life. It is it is not new for us. We have it since version one. That's why I mentioned, yes, it, it uses this this public key cryptography. And this is how you can how you can use it on Domino if you want to start playing with it. Uh, first create a passkey database this is one from passkey ntf this one it's empty passkey database uh, and store it into passkey uh, nsf root folder if you need to put it somewhere else please use notes in a parameter and specify where a server knows uh, where, where you located this passkey database then do some configuration. Uh, optionally, set some human readable name that will be presented in this passkey dialog. It is optional. Now enable passkey authentication. This is a new in your server configuration or or internet site. There is a new new line passkey. Just select yes. Select yes, and once you do this, 
uh, you should and last step is to to set web server to use a new login form that includes elements that uh, recognize that that allows you to work with passkey either create a passkey or login with passkey we created this form for you it is stored in in default dom dom config database and you just specify this uh, this string as this is a for name and and you said okay i want these servers use this login form and then restart http server and then you got it running if you if you log in, if you see it for the first time, it provides you this interface. You specify username and password. And optionally, if you want to create and store passkey locally, you click OK, create a passkey. Then a new dialog opens. If you do not, if you do not click on it and click just login, OK, you are you are in and you can work with verse, anything. On, on the web, on, on the Domino website. If you check this one, you can uh, you can continue in this dialog. You click create passkey, and now you have options that uh, depends uh, on which device you are using it and what you already have installed on this device or for example on on this desktop if you use yubikey if it is on mobile if it is on mobile you can use uh google or apple keychains if you if you pair if you use yubikey it, it will uh, offer you to use your hardware tokens and so on this is pretty basic pretty pretty basic windows 11 workstation where i took these screenshots and and it offered me OK, and it offered me to store it locally. And next time I can log in either with username, password, or passkey from Windows Hello service stored in my Windows 11. If I click on it, it will say OK. Wait until I will check it, and after a while, you you can you can access the server. Uh, so this is new way if you in your company if you are discussing security web access hardware tokens yubikeys pass keys please check this one and this new offering in uh, domino security <clears throat> another not so big small chapter in uh, admin in admin part is operation like so we've got installation, we've got security, and now day-to-day -day operations. What you as a Domino admins need to need to handle to make your system run correctly. In DAOs, we if DAOs is running in cluster, we added a option to to fix to repair missing uh, missing. DAOs attachments. DAOs takes an attachment from NSF, store it locally under some some long uh, anonymous name, and it main, DAOs main, maintains a binding a chain between a email, for example, email document in your mail database and the attachment that was extracted and stored locally. So at any time in the future, it can load it back into the document and present it to end user. Hey, this is the, the attachment and uh, it is seamless for end users. Of course, it is technology, so some, something could happen. And if, uh, do, if Domino realize that that the extracted attachment is missing from the place where it should be. It is not just there. And uh, the server is member of clusters. It can repair, it can, it can ask a peer in the cluster and say, hey, uh, in this document, there should be this PDF attached. I, I downloaded PDF locally and now this PDF is missing. Please, could you check? Do you have this document, this database, this document, and send me 
uh, related PDF and a on object so I can store it securely on, on my site. So if you do this, uh, it, it will fix seamlessly for, for admin uh, missing NLO files. Of course, uh, it is okay if, if the number of missing files is low. It's, it's not big. So that's why there is a limit. So for example, uh, by, uh, yeah, by default it is 100. So if it is fixed more than 100 objects, it could be a sign, hey, something bad is missing. It is not usual that so many objects is suddenly missing. Maybe it is corrupted. Maybe someone deleted big portion and so on. So it stopped after 100 and say, hey, please, admin, check it. Uh, if if uh, there is something wrong, it is better to restore it from, from, from backup and so on. So this is new feature, DAOs repair. And this is how you can fix it in your Domino directory. Go to the server document in DAOs tab and just uh, check fix missing files. In admin, in uh, admin client, you can now, if, if speaking about then security and encryption, you can now select more databases at once and uh, set encryption for them. So un, uh, until now it was not possible it was not possible to encrypt them all at once and specified uh, uh, using server certificate and uh, you had to do it manually. Now it will mark all the databases you specified. Hey, these databases should be encrypted with server ID but they are not yet encrypted at the second. They are marked for encryption, and we know that an encryption happens uh, during compact. So once, uh, once compact runs on the database, it will be encrypted or decrypted based on what you, what you specify in this dialog. Uh, yeah, you want to, maybe there is a situation that you want to disable uh, using Lotus script for your uh, uh, end users that could be curious uh, about the you know source code of the notes applications now we offer a now we offer a settings in the policy where you can in the desktop policy and you can disable for selected groups of users. Uh, to start to use debug Lotus script, it will be grayed out and, and they cannot uh, simply turn it on. So this is also new in this version. And last in this daily operations <coughs> topic is mail related. Mm, you can see that in some organizations, they, because of security reason and some proactive, uh, proactive warnings, they append, they attach some strings, some warnings, either into subject or uh, at the beginning of the email, like, hey, this email came from outside of our company and please treat it as, as non-secure and do not share sensitive information, ta -da 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 -da. If you need to enable this in your company running messaging on Domino in version 14, there is the option. Uh, and you can see the config parameters on the screen. You can specify what should be added at the beginning of the email, optionally into subject. And if you want to add it subject or beginning of the email of the body or uh, to the body. And if body is encrypted, so only to subject and so on. So, so you can configure it uh, as you want. <clears throat> And I think last part in the, yes, last part in the admin section is uh, admin central, admin central. I let it at the end because it is, it is rather big enhancement in version 14. And it is the name of new feature or new database, admin central. And, uh, it provides admins to do some operations 
that until now were able to do only in Domino Administrator to do these operations outside Domino Administrator. So it is good for, and Domino Administrator as well as Domino Designer are on Windows only, clients for Windows only. So if you are Linux or Mac or mainly web user or on mobile or traveling uh, admin, uh, those operations had to wait until you came to your uh, laptop, start Windows machine and do the operations. I'm talking mainly about all these register users. Do I have, no, I do not have admin, but you know, all, all these uh, uh, create user, recertify, uh, working with uh, certificates, reset passwords and so on. So we took this first set of features that admins had to do in Domino Administrator and put it into application, into admin central application. Uh, this is the application. Let me close this one, admin central. This is it. And you just, you just open it. You just, you just create and open it. And it provides you uh, these, right now, this set of functionalities. You can create user, you can recertify user, you can you can create create a group if you want, and also do some modifications. Uh, of course, because it is using with it is working with IDs, those IDs need to be stored on uh, ID Vault because you do not have access to these IDs from the application. And the point is to put everything uh, online and not manage IDs that are stored in your C slash IDs slash users slash John Smith dot ID. So first uh, prerequisite is store user IDs on the server. But what about certification IDs, either cert ID or organization unit IDs and so on. Uh, we have a solution for this as well. You can turn you can turn these uh, external cert ID files uh, into Domino certification authority task, CA task. They are, they are safely stored on the server, something like users in ID vault. And then you can use a uh, task like recertify or create user, even if you do not have physical access to cert ID on your drive, because they are stored securely on the server. So you need to, uh, to work these, these IDs first, and then you can, uh, you can use the application. And let me show it live. Uh, once you start it for the first time, it will show you some some information, maybe warnings, need actions. Typical, if something, if some user already expired, will expire very soon, or will expire soon, will will expire soon. So you can quickly act on these act on these warnings. Then the main, let's say, dashboard or crossroads where you can where you can move to uh, to the subtask is is on this people groups task, and you can create you can create new user, create a group, and also modify what you created. Uh, it is suggested to create a uh, preferences or profiles. And in this case, in my showcase environment, I created, OK, if I ask for registration new users, use this certifier, cert, uh, uh, set this as registration server, home server, uh, how I will, where I will sh um, store mail files, which template, template 14 mail, uh, will they have access as editor or manager and all the things that you use if you register new user in 
domino admin the, uh, using the the current procedure so you can store it once and then reuse and then reuse quickly and then when i click and want to create a new user create i just create okay showcase employee and done and all i need to fill in is first name last name and it is even pre-calculated john smith short name is calculated based on alternate preferred no done submit i can submit and this user will be registered the same way i can recertify uh select users and there are not much it is my demo server super admin recertify submit for another two years cancel so this is a way uh, that is mainly about managing users and ids for example you can I upload id file to id vault because for some reason uh, it is not uploaded even if user is set for policy and so on password reset uh, adding some adding someone to a group if you are traveling and you want to you need to add someone into a group so okay modify group select group local domain admins or accountants or users on server a anything and you can add members and and, and select submit and done I often mention if you are traveling and using it, even if you are not at your PC, I did it on purpose because now, since this is a, a application in nodes, written in, uh, running in nodes and Domino, now you can use existing tools to access it. And by existing tools, I mean uh, Nomad, to access it from web. Oh, this is Nomad. This is uh, not my demo server. This is our, let's say, more real demo server shared. So there is one expired certificate already. Okay, this one is expired. I can renew and so on. And so I can use it on web, even if I do not have installed Nodes client at all. And uh, for this, I created only screenshots to save some time, and you can also use it on mobile. This is what I took I don't know, two days ago from my from my iPhone. I access the same database this time from Nomad for mobile device, and I can see and use the same feature that are on desktop and web. And typically I choose I choose to modify some group to add someone. So admin central, okay, no big errors. Click, cre update user, update group. I want to update a group, select a group. And now I can click on this and add someone as a member in vacation approver group. So because new manager joined the company and I, and I have to give them this uh, this authority to to approve vacations in our vacation application i can save it and, and done so so this is admin central a new enhancement for admins in version 14 that you can try and use right now <clears throat> and let's move to the final part what is new for for developers what is new for developers let me start with some some generic information and generic updates a big improvement is moving from java 8 to java 17. also eclipse is updated to newer version and c plus plus compiler is from from visual c 2017 to the latest uh, 2022 so we are trying to to keep up to speed <clears throat> with what is used in the wild we updated c api toolkit and uh, if i remember correctly we also added some some new classes some new features so, so we extended it uh we uh, you can download and, and test it already from our servers uh we fixed we fixed the this uh issue that was reported in previous version on 64-bit clients there was a problem with uh 
arrays of, of longs in Lotus script, uh, a simple, uh, simple how to reproduce code you can see on the page and it returned incorrect results if you run it in pre version 14 in version 14 it is fixed and uh, it is enable it is uh, these settings is, is enabled by default uh, this slide that I use in my presentation this one this is just a reminder that uh, in version 10 we introduced DQL domino query language uh, later we added a name result set that can store the output, the, the collections defined by Domino query language that you can that you can reuse and make it more precise and to save time and uh, make database response faster. And we also added in version 12, QRP query result processor that can take uh, uh, collections from multiple NSF databases, combine it together and present either as a view or as a JSON. And what and now let me let me continue. Uh, this view with this view feature in version 14, these views, this one. These views can be built from templates, so you do not need to specify it manually in the code. You can reuse some templates, and if you <clears throat> if you want to overwrite, you can still use at calm to override the default specification in in the template. So we enhanced QR uh, query result processor uh, templates for views. <clears throat> Uh, notes HTTP request exist, I think, since version 10, if I remember it correctly. In the current release, we added support for proxy because sometimes you do not have direct access to the external external systems through HTTP. Uh, you need to use proxy, so we use so we use this method to to set uh, to set proxy uh, proxy method proxy user or reset to default settings. This is small. Uh, <clears throat> we improved JavaScript editor, look and feel, uh, some, some shortcuts, so it is better for admins, for, sorry, better for developers to use it inside, inside Domino Designer. Speaking about improvements and uh, better functionality for developers in designer we added advanced properties that we know from notes client since version 12 so in version 14 you can use advanced properties you can you can use advanced properties for for designing and i think i should be able to show it designer this one mm, views Right-click, views, show me, for example, this one, advanced properties, and you have the properties of this view or form, what you need to know. It is good to, to have overview of the design element, or you can compare. If I select two, I can cry application properties compare and now you can see what is new. maybe those are too close maybe this and this ah advanced compare this one now uh, what is uh, white is the same what is yellow is different and what is green on the left or right? We do not see green yet. Uh, here in this example, what is green means uh, is, is unique. It's either new on left side or new on the right side. Yeah, this one. So for example, format node is only on the left side, not on the right side, and public access is not on the left side. 
So these are advanced properties that we know that we know from Notes client in version 12. Now we have it in in designer in version 14. Uh, source code integration uh, new in in previous version you could uh, disassemble NSF into a set of uh, set of documents and files locally. Uh, the intention was to to use it um, to use it by by some third, maybe third party tools for versioning and so on. But there were um, many issues because. Uh, there were timestamps and changes in some labels and so on, and it show more changes and updates that it should do. And in version 14, we improved this functionality, and now you can you can export it as as YAML as YAML files, either using this uh, wizard, the same wizard that you use. This is what we know from previous version team development uh, setup source control this this is exist this is dialog same as in previous version and if you click next this one is new and it will use yaml format for exporting and it, and for better handling of uh, of individual design elements if you want to play with it a little bit this is new. This one is from beta three, from early access uh, wave three, drop three. In in drop two, in previous beta, we we introduced this uh, uh, binary, this exe file that you can run uh, with your database NSF as a parameter, and it will store into this into this uh, folder extracted design elements in yaml format now now it is included in this one but i don't know if it if it will remain in the in the final version version 14 and you can uh, you can play with it if you have the need for converting nsf into source into some source control friendly format uh, and Yes, and two, two uh, at, at the very end, two new updates. First one is Restyle. This is also, this is not new, this is from version 12. But what we did in version 14, let me show you some demo, how we improved Restyle. Restyle takes existing, usually old application with some older design, does not touch the business logic and updates only uh, user interface on selected elements and it can do it for multiple databases and you can keep the same look and feel across several databases so it looks consistent according to your corporate colors for example and so on let me let me check this one yes it is okay existing some older database and let me show you what is new in this restyle wizard application restyle yes it will change the design this warning first one is i can specify custom color for example if you need some corporate uh, our corporate is zero one two seven this is hcl color this one and one eight two okay custom blue it is a little bit blue than the default a uh, little little bit lighter than the default one next uh i use in this example defaults that it recognize uh, this one is completely new you can specify font typeface if you are not satisfied with Arial, you can set, okay, I want to overwrite color, do not just use it lightly, but fully. If I subtract it blue, let's use this blue as a main uh, theme color. 
remove background images, override composite application standard actions, and you can now specify if you want to restyle forms, view, pages, da, 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 all these elements or some of them, or even if you want to restyle not all forms, but for example, only a few forms. And if you specify only a few forms, then it will disable the rest. So either you uh, restyle everything or what you what you specify. Let me restyle everything. Next, you can create a new icon in this wizard. I will keep the existing one, restyle, and let it let it work. A few seconds. Okay, open, and this is a restyle application. You see the navigator, there are the icons. Uh, blue that I specified is used uh, for emphasizing unread documents. Yeah. It deleted the, the, the images at the background, and you can use this uh, procedure to restyle other applications, other maybe application with all design and maintain unified look and feel. Uh, so this is what is new if you click in this wizard, if you click on it, but we added, what we added is uh, if you want to go deep, you can create a restyle NSF database from the template. And in this database, you can edit or add JSON files in the resources section and you can specify your own colors so i do not uh, specify this hcl blue every time i i want to use it i can just add it and and or or change it and and use it you can create your own themes with combinations of colors and light or dark themes and so on so this is the way how you can create a settings once and reuse it multiple times and last point in this design se designer section is uh, a reminder that we as we uh, published some part of of admin of administrator into the web ui so some admin tools that used to be available on Windows admin client can now be used via Nomad web on uh, web browser. We are, it, I think it is still in beta version in latest Nomad. You can use also designer running in web browser. And this is, uh, this is designer as we know it from classic windows interface so now you can work with designer on the web is it could be useful if you want to use it instantly like hey i am not at at, at my at my pc uh, with all these development tools and i want to either do some changes or quickly find a name of the field that i want to access through rest api or something like this so you can access Domino Designer from Nomad now. This is how it looks. And last section, learning resources, is related only to version 14. First, let me introduce you to the official launch event that will happen at the beginning of December, December the 7th. If you click on it, you can register. It will be worldwide in English, global official announcement of notes and Domino version 14. So I warmly welcome you to, to register to this event. And here are the links. If you are interested in version 14, each link leads to section what is new in notes, Domino designer traveler version 14. And here is the link to discussion forum where you can read and if you want you can you can join the discussion and be a active player asking questions providing feedback uh, it is it is a great resource for gathering information when someone tried to deploy it 
some new feature and get some obstacles and how he solved it and so on. So, so this is good resource of, of information. If you found, find something that uh, Domino should have some functionality, you want to provide us as a, your, your opinion and idea what we should fix or add in the new release, uh, please use Domino AHA portal that, that we operate for, for some time, or you can vote for ideas provided by other people. And the last slide is overview of features, oh, sorry, of events that, that uh, will be until the, neck, uh, the end of this year. The last cafe in this year, in 2033, will be in, uh, in a month. It will be December cafe, where we'll we gather all the important information that happened in this year and what is planned for, for the future and people customers and partners from the nordics team there will be two on-site big conferences at the end of november in copenhagen and stockholm you can you can get information agenda and register for these events please and for people for czechia slovakia poland some uh, if you want to uh, uh, attend online conference sutol conference it will be also at the end of, of November, and the conference will be in Czech language. Thank you for joining the today's cafe. We spent 90 minutes to cover not all, but the, the big subset of features that are planned for version, no, for version 14 of Notes and Domino and, and Designer. This version should be released next month and you can start testing and experimenting with it already now uh, thank you for joining once i finish this call i will check the questions if there are any thank you and see you on the next uh, ce cafe in december thank you and goodbye